So I'm going to be trying something sort of new, and I'm going to take you guys along for the uh, experiment ride here. So this is one of my hanging filters. This is made by a zoo, and usually it comes with these two sponges here, but I'm not going to be using those. I typically prefer to use my own media, and um, what I've done first of all is I've just gotten a sponge that you can get for um, any filter, and I've cut it down to size like this, so this will actually fit right inside here. Get it all the way down. And then typically what I will do next down here towards the bottom is I like to put in some um, like bio filtration. They're little stones, ceramic stones that you get and I just put them into this media bag and then I just tie it shut and then I put that right down onto the bottom here. Currently I don't have any to put in here because I made some for this um, filter already but it's currently sitting inside another of my hanging filters so that I can start to build a good um, biological colony on it before I add it to this tank and it will help speed the cycling process up when I uh, set up the new tank. So the thing that's new is going to be the fact that this is a carbon pad and this is an ammonia pad. Usually you would use um, something like this, which is zeolite crystals. This actually works on the ammonia, and then something similar that's black is the carbon, and that takes out the toxins and any impurities and things that you don't want in your water, odors, and helps to keep the water clear. And it would go into another you know, media bag such as this. So I've been using these carbon pads for a while, and I really like how they've been working. So I decided to try the ammonia pads. I wasn't really willing to do both at the same time. I really kind of wanted to see how the process was working out in the actual tanks. So I'm going to stick these down in here as well. So it looks sort of like that. And it should be a little bit easier to manhandle. You can pull them out and replace them every two to three weeks really easily. You'll leave your sponge in and you'll leave your biological um, media down at the bottom in, but these two pieces need to be replaced every two weeks. Uh, they kind of collect all the different um, ammonias and toxins and impurities and such in them, and if they start to fill up too much, they'll actually just start depositing that right back into your tank, which is not what you want. So those are going to get removed. You'll rinse out your sponge in the tank water that you've removed from your tank so that you don't kill your biological colony that's on there, and you'll do the same thing if you need to with the um, little ceramic stones at the bottom, but these two will definitely be replaced. So I'm going to be putting those in. I'm, my other tank, I'm leaving it alone, and I'm going to sort of be comparing the two um, when I do my water readings and see if the pads work just as effectively as the crystals do. So we're going to find out about that.